First, uh, effective immediately, the FDA will be notifying physicians that the use of a said, uh, well, let's see how we say that. Look, Donald, if you don't know how to pronounce a word, that's fine. It's okay. Nobody's going to hold that against you. But if you are about to go on a press conference where you are about to deliver news, a, a supposed win for your administration that is about to affect millions of people, maybe look up the damn word first and figure out how to pronounce it before you go on TV. <sighs> Keep watching. Acetaminophen. Acetaminophen. Is that okay? Which is basically commonly known as Tylenol. Very good, Donald. During pregnancy can be associated with a very increased risk of autism. So taking Tylenol is uh, not good. All right, I'll say it. It's not good. Wow. Brilliant insight, fearless leader. For this reason, they are strongly recommending that women limit Tylenol use during pregnancy unless medically necessary. That's, uh, for instance, in cases of extremely high fever, that you feel you can't tough it out, you can't do it. I guess there's that. So this incredibly insecure man who gets his physicians to lie about his physical health and attributes and uses AI images to hide his decrepitude, which is growing with every single day, is going to tell pregnant women to tough it out. It can be uh, something that's very dangerous to the woman's health. In other words, a fever that's very, very uh, dangerous and ideally a doctor's decision. Yes, you finally got something right. It should be a decision between someone who is pregnant and their doctor, not at the whim of an administration who is trying to rack up profits for rich people by scaring pregnant folks about autistic and neurodivergent people who do not deserve to be some demon that you vanquish and conquer through eugenics. Also, by the way, uh, anti-vaxxers are really angry with Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and you, Donald. So uh, good luck with that.